Welcome back to part four of Write Data's video series, Getting Started with the Write Data. In this video, let's look into the second type of scenario, validation scenario. Let me demonstrate validation scenario functionality using an example to validate the CSV data set that is prepared and snapshotted into Write Data using the query chain. Example, post-processing of CSV file. We have created this query chain in part two of this video series. Go to Scenario Designer. From the toolbar, click on Create Validation Scenario to load Scenario Designer with Design Element Start. Double click on Start to name the validation scenario. Enter a long description and select the folder to be saved under. Scenario Design Palettes Data Sources tab contains different types of data sources you can use as part of a validation scenario. Drag and drop the RD database design element to the canvas. Double click on the RD database design element and select the query chain, example, post processing of CSV file. The default option for sessions is latest session. By selecting this option, every time this validation scenario is executed, Write Data's processing engine will choose the most recent available snapshot output of the query chain. Example, post-processing of CSV file. Switch to Transformations tab of the design palette. You will see various types of transformation options like projection, aggregation, filter, etc. If there are any additional transformations to be done, it's highly recommended to perform those in query chain and use the output of the query chain as a data source for the validation scenario. No transformations are used in this example. Now switch to Validation Rules tab. Validation Scenario Designer comes with a powerful set of validation rules like duplicate check, referential integrity check, range check, link check, presence check, pattern check, upper lowercase check, positive negative check, etc. When there is a need for a custom rule to be developed, you can use Rule Builder using complex rule validation or multi condition rule. In this case, let's build the following business rules on the credit transaction data we have captured. Rule 1 Suspicious duplicate transaction. Identify the transactions for which the combination of transaction date, transaction time, transaction amount, principal amount is repeated. In order to build this rule, drag and drop the validation rule type duplicate check to the canvas. Double click on the design element. Click on the fields tran underscore date, tran underscore time, tran underscore amount, and principal underscore amount. These actions will automatically build a business rule in English at the bottom part of the duplicate check window. On the top right corner, you see a button with a graph icon. Click on it to set the appropriate risk category and the data quality dimension for this rule. These settings will help with report data quality issues into appropriate buckets in the final dashboards. Update the rule name as suspicious transactions. Click on save to return to design canvas. Check if merchant postal code and merchant state are always populated. In order to build this rule, drag and drop the validation rule type presence check to the canvas. Double click on the design element. Select the fields Merchant Postal Code and Merchant State. On the top right corner, you see a button with the graph icon. Click on it to set the appropriate risk category and the data quality dimension for this rule. Click Save and return to the canvas. Rule 4. When transaction amount is greater than $500, merchant name must exist. In order to build this rule, Drag and drop the validation rule type multi-condition to the canvas. Double click on the design element. Using the intuitive rule builder, define the scope in the when section and expected criteria in the then section. In this case, when transaction amount is greater than or equal to 1,000, then merchant name is not equal to. On the top right corner, you see a button with the graph icon. Click on it to set the appropriate risk category and the data quality dimension for this rule. Click Save and return to the canvas. Now validation scenario configuration is complete and ready to execute. 
click on Execute. This will submit a request to Write Data's Processing Engine. Upon successful submission of the request, the design canvas will switch to monitor mode where you can see the execution progress of the scenario. Once the validation scenario execution is complete, if any of the rules return exceptions, you will see the exception count in red on the top of the respective rule. In order to analyze the exceptions, click on the exception count to navigate to the validation exceptions dashboard. The validation exceptions dashboard displays each rule as a tile with the validation result. By clicking on the exception count of each rule, you can drill into the failed records.